So today we're going to talk a little bit about how we take uh, reflectance measurements, ground-based spectrometry measurements for the FAST project. Uh, today we're going to do it in a nice easy location rather than uh, wade around in the mud. But uh, this is just to give you a little bit of a demonstration. And basically what we're trying to measure is the inherent reflectance properties of, of surfaces. And we do this because uh, we want to relate this information to in, uh, reflectance data that comes from satellites or from airborne images. Uh, and this type of information we can use to classify and to understand ecosystems and to extract uh, properties of things like the vegetation in coastal zones. Um, but of course, to understand what we're seeing in a satellite, we have to go out and we have to actually measure these things in the field. So this is the equipment that we're going to use today. Uh, it, it consists of a small spectral radiometer that we can carry around easily with us. And, uh, and I'm going to demonstrate to you a little bit uh, the basic pro process of how we measure reflectance. So if we look here, <coughs> this is our spectral radiometer. It's a, uh, a USB 2000 Ocean Optics. Um, this is a, a relatively cheap version. Uh, it measures the, the, the light um, in very high spectral resolution. And that travels through this fiber optic cable and enters into the instrument here. This cable is quite long. We use this for, for different purposes. And because the cable is a little bit fragile, what I tend to do is enclose it in this, this enclosure to give it a little bit more uh, strength when we're in the field. And if we go to this part here, this is really the, where the action goes on. This is the measuring tip. You could think of this as the, as the point of the, uh, where a camera enters in. And in here there's the, the very, very tip of the fiber optic and that's where the light enters. So wherever I point this, the machine will then measure the, the light that enters there. Okay. <coughs> and the instrument is connected via this USB cable to, uh, to a computer, to a, a simple netbook or laptop computer. And then we basically carry all of this away around with us in the field and, uh, and take measurements at different locations. So with this system, as you can see, uh, at the moment it needs to be run by a laptop computer, so we've designed uh, some sort of way to carry this into the field. And uh, basically the process now is we do a small uh, calibration with the sensor where we take account for the dark signal. The dark signal is basically the noise of the instrument. Now the thing to be careful with with the dark signal is that um, as this is affected by temperature, so if you're uh, out in the morning and things warm up, it's worth taking the dark signal once or twice during the day. So to take the dark signal, what we simply do is blacken the, the tip, make sure that there's no light coming in there. So I put the, the end on, and then on the machine, I just say, take a dark measurement, okay? And store the dark measurement. Now, to take a measurement, the process always begins, take the cap off, put it somewhere safe, obviously, because you don't want to lose that. We then take a reference measurement, and for the reference measurement, what we're using is a, a, a Spectralon, uh, reference plate. Now these reference plates are, are, are rather delicate and rather expensive and some people do rather like not to take these things into the field so the choice of doing this in the field or using something an alternative such as um, uh, white polystyrene is, is, uh, is another way of doing this. So basically what we do now is we take a measurement, we ensure that we've got good lighting conditions with, uh, with no shading and we do our best to get the sensor over the, over the uh, reference thing and then we take a measurement and we store that measurement in, uh, in, a raw, in the raw data format. Next. Immediately, as soon as possible, we take a measurement of the, of the sample surface. In this case, we're just simulating and we're taking some, uh, some samples of the, of the ground near the university. But you can get a feeling that this would then be a vegetation or something like this. So we take a measurement of the sample surface, store that. 
write down the, uh, the, the sample name, the code of the quadrat or the area in it, and then we take another measurement of a reference. We store that and then we move on to take another sample of the sample surface. What we tend to do is use a sort of a five, a, a die type uh, pattern. So one in the middle, one, two, three, four on each edge. And this goes on until you've collected all of the, all of the references and all of the uh, samples that you want. Uh, for, for this project, we're taking five uh, samples per, per uh, quadrat. Another reference. Again, taking careful that it's in the right position. Collected. And the final sample. And that's basically it. That's how we collect a, uh, a reference, a uh, reflectance spectrum within the FAST project.